Greetings, boys and girls. My name is Arid and Kane. Today, we're talking about springs. When talking about springs in Fallout 76, there's two methods that work, farming Yagwai and scrapping junk for springs. First, we'll cover the five guaranteed spawn locations for Yagwai, and then my top three spots for gathering junk for springs. Now that you know what we're doing, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with farming Yagwais. Uh, there are five guaranteed spawn locations, and we're going to take these in order from top to bottom. So we're going to start with the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. So when you drop it in the spawn point, you're going to head over here into this parking lot. And there's our buddy chilling right now. Get his attention. So that gives us six loose springs, and we're just going to go right to the next location, which is going to be the Mononga Overlook. Let's go ahead and fast travel. So for this location, we're just going to head basically straight towards the stairs, and I think we already saw him. That was quick. We usually don't. He. This one can be kind of a little sketchy to find sometimes. is not my best fight. See, this guy's a little sketchy. Come here. So there's two down. So that one gave us eight springs. So that's pretty sweet. Next location is Dolly Sod's Wilderness. Fast. So our first guy is going to be right here on the road. And this location is kind of nice because there are two Yagwai that spawn here. So we'll take this first one out. And he gives us eight springs again too, so that's awesome. And then if we just head this way around the building, and you can see him off there in the distance. This guy gave us seven loose springs, so that's that's good. Our next location is going to be down here by the White Springs at the Miner's Monument. So we're actually going to go on to the on to White Springs property, I guess. Uh, but we'll head east from the spawn point and then go through this broken gate area. We're going to avoid ghouls because I don't want to deal with them. Then what we're looking for is this rock outcropping right here. And inside that little cave is going to be a Yagoi sleeping peacefully. Well, not peacefully anymore, but... And generally, you can usually get him at least halfway down before he even gets out of the uh, thing. Another seven springs, awesome. And then our last location, which is right here at the mountainside bed and breakfast. Go ahead and fast travel there. So this is another location that's going to have two Yagwais. So you can see down there at, the, at that broken down train car, there will be one on each side. You can see our first guy is right there. There's our second guy. He's usually down by the train car. He's a sneaky guy. Let's see what we got. So that is seven springs on that one and seven springs on that one. We got good loads this time. Let's see what we got total. Oh, I suppose that didn't, that just showed us. So 50 springs and this is, we're a couple minutes in total. 
Um, and the key to this is that you can server hop and basically do this as many times as you want. All right, our next location is going to be the abandoned bog town. It's in the Cranberry Bog. We're gonna take the Pylon V13 uh, waypoints. Let's not discuss the last death parker there. Uh, we'll take Pylon, Pylon V13 because we can't fast travel to the bog town itself. So we'll fast travel. So once you drop in at the spawn point, you'll be pacing, facing the pylon. So we're gonna turn a little bit to the left and head towards this big brick building. There will be fights to be had here, but we're going to ignore. There will be fights to be had. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go up the stairs between these two buildings and we're gonna go all the way to the roof. Just a couple more floors and we're almost there. So once we get to the roof, we're going to drop down this elevator shaft. It only goes one floor, so we're good. Let's get our light on. And what we're looking for are typewriters, which give you springs, and clipboards. So there's two so far. Let's head over here. We There's a toaster here. We want to grab that. And more typewriters. Nothing over there. More typewriters, more typewriters. Another typewriter. There's a clipboard and a typewriter. One last little section over here. More typewriters and another clipboard. So then we're going to head down, drop down into this hole. We're going to grab the alarm clock and the clipboard on our way out this hole. We're going to drop down to the ground floor again. And then if you cross the street and head to the police station, this is the part that nobody ever tells you about in uh, YouTube videos, by the way. <laughs> um, so we're going to, there's the police station jail keys if you need them. We don't. Uh, we'll grab a pair of handcuffs that are on the counter. We'll go in here. There's another pair of handcuffs on the desk. You can barely see those suckers, even with the light on. And another one on the shelf. And then if we head out here, there is a fourth pair of handcuffs right there. And then we'll turn around. And in this uh, wheelbarrow, there will be another five pairs of handcuffs, each giving one spring. So that is all we need from this location. Let's head over to a nearby workbench and find out how much we got. Let's turn our light off. So let's go ahead and scrap those items and see how many springs we got. So we got a total of 23 springs out of that. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. All right. Our next location is going to be Camp McClintock. It is over here on the west side of the map. See right there, and we will fast travel there. So once you drop in at the spawn point, we're gonna run right through this little checkpoint here and into the main building. We're gonna turn our light on and we'll grab these clipboards here. What we're looking for here is clipboards sure none have fallen on the other side of the table or anything and then we have some more clipboards right here and keep your eyes peeled on the floor because there are a lot of clipboards on the floor um, this is actually the second time I recorded this because I missed some the first time um, we're gonna yeah, go in here and I get know, all these clipboards the on stuff. the floor There's more over here more on this table Oh, there's one right there. Oh, and there's more in here. And then we're going to head around to this workbench here. We'll grab that typewriter and that clipboard. 
And then there's another container with more clipboards. Um, not a bad idea to check all of the uh, containers and cabinets and things like that. Uh, but I think we're pretty much done here. So let's head over to the workbench that's in here Still and scrap scores, these sir. and see how many screws we ended up with. So, or springs, yeah, we got uh, 27 springs out of that. That was pretty quick for like a minute's work. All right, our last location, but certainly not least, is going to be the Sugar Grove. I think this is one of the best locations for springs and a bunch of other things too. Uh, let's go ahead and fast travel there. All right, so when we drop in at the spawn point, we're gonna want to run up this road and through all this parking lot and all this neat stuff, there will be robots to fight in the parking lot and on the interior of the building. But what we're looking for are clipboards, lots and lots of clipboards. So you can pretty much assume that every desk is going to have at least one. So you want to kind of look around. Conference rooms will almost always have some. Although not in this one, it would appear. Yeah, anywhere there's a counter or a desktop or anything like that, there's a possibility for there to be uh, clipboards to be found. Although apparently not on the outside. So let's head in. All right, once you're inside, this is kind of the mother load right here. Each, pretty much each one of these desks will have a clipboard on it or near it or on the ground or in a cubby, although not this one. There's a clipboard there. And you wanna check the side rooms as well because there is another clipboard. And it's uh, probably a good idea to take it slow because you can easily miss them. There's a clipboard, another clipboard. Paper cutter? Maybe, we're gonna take it and we'll find out. Cubbies, cubbies. And then we'll go into this room. There's another clipboard. More clipboards. Ch -ch -ch. Another. There's none in that room that I found ever. It's a clipboard, another clipboard. Another one. I don't think there's any in here. The conference table, there's one, there's one, there's another. As you can see, uh, the pattern developing here is that you check all the table. Any surface really is uh, a potential area where a clipboard could be. Continue down the stairs. There is nothing that I found down that hallway. There's a clipboard here on the counter and then another one. Head down these stairs. There will be uh, fights, including a, uh, a Protectron in here. So all of these desks and things you'll want to check for clipboards. Other, including behind you. I 
again, same pattern applies. Pretty much any surface could have a clipboard on it. There's one. There. There's a clipboard. There's another. And another, and another. And then next we'll come to this spot here, which basically has a bunch of them. If you're standing up, you should be able to get them. Or if you're in power armor easily, you'll be able to get them without jumping or doing any weird stuff. And I think that's gonna be all the clipboards for the sugar. Oh, wait, let's check one more spot. Nope, here's two right here. Again, conference rooms or really desk surfaces are what you're looking for. Um, so now that we've got those, let's head back up these stairs. We're gonna go and scrap these and check to see how many we got. Um, I don't think there are actually any in here. Let's take a quick peek while we're here just to make sure. Yeah. So let's go and scrap these and see what we got. So we got 37 battered clipboards. Okay, so the paper cutter is only steel. Let's scrap all that. And I'm, I'm relatively sure that I missed some because I know I've done this before and had well over 40. Um, but you get the general idea. You want to hit any of the desk surfaces and things like that. So yeah, 37 springs for a pretty quick run. That's not so bad. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you get all the springs you need. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.